weight, it actually keeps the uh, rocket level as it goes, and so it keeps jacking the back side of it up, so that way it remains level going all the way up the hill, so that, again, the rocket does not tip over. Um, so those are, there's two of them, um, and so we'll be seeing one of them while we're out here. And it uses uh, lasers in order to guide it in to pinpoint accuracy in order to sit down uh, the little launch platform uh, at the right spot on the pad so that way all of the <laughs> exhaust from all the rocket engines and everything lines up with the plane trench correctly so that way we can uh, divert it away from the actual rocket and uh, proceed on and have a safe launch. So uh, you'll see the system uh, up close here in just a minute and then we'll see the pad following that. So uh, stand by while we get on out there. So here's the upgraded crawler. This is crawler two. It's been upgraded from the Apollo era. Now it can handle something like uh, 18 million pounds. It alone weighs six million pounds, so it's a pretty big monster, as you can see. Okay, well this this is far better than anything else you're gonna see. <laughs> you know, you can see rockets launch all the time. So you're standing underneath crawler number two. We have two of them, the other one's back in the yard. The reason it's here is because late last week we just moved the mobile launch tower up to the pad. Brought it all the way here from the VAB, 4.3 miles away. Crawler number two has been upgraded from the other crawler at the end of the shuttle program. The new SLS program said you're going to have to lift heavier weight. So they were originally designed for 12 million pounds. This one has been upgraded to carry 18 million pounds. So there were a few mods that had to be done. We changed out some roller bearings and some gel hydraulic cylinders and welded some more steel on. Uh, put some bigger brakes on it, that type of stuff. A lot quieter. Yep, we had a company come in here and put some bigger mufflers. There's the mufflers right over there. Hopefully the exhaust system's a lot quieter than it used to be. But we still have to have a lot of hearing protection. Single and double hearing protection while we're riding. Thirty-two feet per gallon. <laughs> diesel. Great diesel fuel. They come to us. Yes. Thirty-two. How much was it? Thirty-two feet per gallon. <laughs> we carry 5,000 gallons of diesel on board. Down here, we're looking at all the different trucks. See this thing? You've got the chassis, and you've got what we call trucks, four trucks. And so we've got people monitoring there. A lot of steering arms, the injectors, the grease injectors, all those things. So you've got four motors. That's right. Simultaneously. That's all right. And if you look on the end of those, it's kind of hard to see if it uh, Yeah, 16 of those, four per truck, 375 horsepower each. They're all driven from an Alpha engine, 16 cylinder, 2,750 horsepower. The gear ratio is the trick, right? You get something right. like that. Yeah. So 168. Okay. And so one of the things that we did is uh, we increased the size of our tractor. We did a tractor roller for the ladder per side. It's actually carrying what it's doing to do the work. It's 11,144,328 pounds to be exact. But uh, we also had, uh, that's, what our, that's what we measured, but um, that's an approximation. Okay, so they're still doing some work there. So like, a few years ago when you were in driver's ed, did you like <laughs> consider this? No, uh, this is not in the scope of my imagination. <laughs> did you think that you were ever going to get here when you were there? I hope. <laughs> so when you said you were when you said you're drivers, like I imagine there's not one metal maniac behind one steering wheel. Is there perhaps one on each truck or how's it so, work? So yeah, there's, uh, there's one at either end. Now, as we're driving down the crawlerway, there's only one driver at that time. Now, 
that person has got all kind of spotters so looking out because right. you can imagine your, your view is, is limited. Actually. I'll tell you some stuff that you don't know and what's not written down is, you know these turns that you see um, are right at six degrees. The crawler can make a six degree turn. I don't know what this the civil engineer who was designing the crawler way said, oh, six degrees, we'll give it six degrees then. So everything is a max turn. And look at all this real estate. We're thinking, why is it so tight like this? We really have to be, you really, you can imagine if you're late getting into a turn, it's not a good day, you know. So somebody has a truck yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Back, out. Dry steel. So back out, do it again. Yeah. And there's a there's a little bit of ribbing that goes on if that, if that were to ever happen to you. So, so when you approach the turn, you have to dry steer it, or you have to three point it. So, so, so this thing actually um, works in great circle. So you've got to see like these two characters we were getting back to the south. They would be turning to the right, while the back two would be turning to the left. You can see programs, yeah, okay. make a circle. How long do you drive for? So uh, coming out here, you know, it's a it's a good twelve hours. Yeah. So we rotate drivers because. Make sure we're, we're all fresh and that we're, uh, we're on our hearts. We kind of break it up by, geographically by areas, but uh, more than an hour, I would say. Oh, okay. Like that. At a time. At one right. time. Yeah, at one time. Now, once we get to the pad, we've got to get this crawler. This is the hard thing. We've got to get this thing within one inch relative to the front to the back. So we've got a one inch target that we have to get. Touch the crawler if you want, you can't hurt anything, really greasy.